Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a review, swatch and demo video on the Zoeva Rose Golden Palette. This is what it looks like right here and seriously, it looks so luxurious. Before we go any further, I am on the Sephora Australia website and it says that it currently retails for 38 Australian dollars. So you can pick this up from Sephora or you can pick it up from Beauty Bay a little bit cheaper. I have nothing wrong with Beauty Bay, but they are a little bit slow getting things to you and they've got pretty shit customer service in my opinion. But if you do want to save a bit of money, then you can you can get Zoeva palettes on Beauty Bay as well. Okay, so this is what the palette looks like here. So there are 10 shades in the palette. Zoeva does have a few in this line where there are 10 shadows. Um, I do own one other one, and that one is the Naturally Yours palette. I do have a review of it, so I will link it down below for you guys. Um, in this palette in specific, there is three matte shades. So this shade here, which is called Luster, and then these two up the top are also matte as well. Every other color in this palette does have a really beautiful sheen to them. I just want to really quickly talk about packaging. I love the packaging. It's very, very sleek, very, very compact. And it's very, very lightweight as well. You still get 15 grams of product in here. So 1.5 grams per shadow. But I don't feel like there's any space wasted. But I don't feel like there's any space sacrificed that might break my shadows if they were to drop. Um, another thing about this palette is there isn't a mirror. So if you are planning on going traveling or just using your palette as your mirror or something like that, this doesn't have one. So that's something to bear in mind. Okay, so if you can see that on my hand, I've swatched five of the shadows from the top row. These shadows right here, I've swatched them onto my hand. I'll give you a breakdown of those and then I'll move on to the second row. Okay, so the first shade is called Luster. That one is a matte. It is a kind of one shade darker than my skin tone type of color. I use it as a transition shade, but when I am tanned, it is hardly noticeable. So if you are my skin tone or darker, that's something to put into consideration. But if you are more on the fair side, then this would be an amazing transition color for you. The next color is Reflective Elegance, which I think is a gorgeous champagne color, especially if you love champagne on the lids. I think that is a gorgeous shade and the pigment is amazing. It's a very, very soft shadow, but it does transfer quite well to the eye regardless of if you use your finger or if you use a flat brush. The next shade is Copper is King. I don't like this formula at all. It's not very good. It's not as good as Reflective Elegance in the slightest. It looks okay swatched, but when it actually tries to get on the eye, it's not that good in my experience. The next shade is Shining Bright. This one is an amazing formula, similar to the Reflective Elegance shade. It's a gorgeous shade, great pigmentation, picks up nicely on a brush, transfers nicely to the eye. What, can, what more can you ask for? The last one is called Rusty Petals. Now, I don't really like this one. The formula isn't that great, but it's not as bad as that Copper is King shade. By the way, all these swatches are without a primer, and I am just swatching directly with my fingers to my hand. So this is the second row. So the first one is Foil. This one is gorgeous. This is probably the best shadow in the whole palette. It does have some shimmers in it if you look at it in the pan, but it doesn't look overly glittery on the eye. It's absolutely gorgeous, but it is very, very similar. Maybe just a tiny bit more yellow than this one here, that reflective elegant shade. But both of these two are my favorites in the palette. The next one is Just a Rose, which is a gorgeous, like rosy golden shade as the palette suggests. I really, really like that one and the formula is good as well. The next one is Golden Rule. I really like this one. It's like a kind of goldish, greenish color. It's really, really unique. I don't have any other color like it in my collection. It's really, really pretty. The next shade is Harmony. This one is a matte gray shade. It doesn't really swatch that good and it doesn't transfer to the eye very good. It is usable, but it's not the best. So the last color is Wonder Full, and that one's a matte. It is a dark brown, or at least it's supposed to be a dark brown. It doesn't swatch very good. It doesn't pick up very good with a brush, and it doesn't transfer very good to the eye. Overall, that's three factors for me that makes it not a very good shadow at all. Um, it's not patchy or anything. It's just it's not dark whatsoever. Like comparing it to what it actually does look like in the pan, it's actually quite disappointing. Okay, so final thoughts on this palette. I don't like 40% of the colors. I hate the two darker matte shades, I hate Rusty Petals, and I hate Copper is King. I don't think they're very good formulas at all. But I do love the other six shadows in this palette. I think they are very, very good. Would I recommend it to you guys? That would honestly just depend on your personal collection and what you are wanting out of an eyeshadow palette. Do I think that you can make an eye look out of this palette? Yes. Do I think that you can make many eye looks out of this palette? No. But I do think this is a nice one to add to your collection if you did already have a lot of palettes like myself. I've got 
heaps of palettes like I think I've got over 20 palettes this is nice if I just want to pick like one or two colors out there to like put on the lid or like something like that I wouldn't rely on this palette to make a look on its own just because like yes I did get an eye look today but it was very very simple and it is very very dull it could be a lot better if these two shadows were a bit more intense to be completely honest with you guys if even the two matte shades these two matte shades were a bit better quality. I would recommend this to you guys. But purely based on the fact that the two dark matte shades are not very good at all, that is the reason why I would not recommend this to you guys. But again, with that being said, it does depend on your personal collection and if you have other eyeshadows to balance out the shimmers in this palette. It's because this palette does have so many shimmers that I do think personally that you do need some mattes to balance it out. And while they do provide some, I don't feel like they're very good. That's just my honest opinion though. I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely let me know if you're going to buy the palette down below as well or if you already own it, let me know your thoughts. Don't get me wrong, it's not a bad palette. If you do get it or if you do want it, it is a nice one to have. I just don't think that you can get many looks out of it, if that makes sense. Still a nice one, I will still use it. But just it just doesn't make a well-rounded palette for me. That's all. And also, there's no highlight shades. So that's another thing to consider. But yeah, that's my final thoughts and opinions on this palette. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.